progress is dotted? We're doing okay. We're here for the one week follow up, but we've been noticing her symptoms seem to be progressing. So, so what's going on? Well, we've noticed that her head is slightly misfigured, and she hasn't gained any weight since her birth. She also has a very weak cry, and her skin feels like wax. Do you think you can help us figure out what's wrong with our baby? Hmm. I have some ideas, but we should run a few tests first. So, as I guess, I think your daughter might have eye cell disease. Oh no. What is that? Well... Eye cell disease, also known as mucolipidosis 2, is a rare disease affecting the lysosome of a cell. Lysosomes are organelles within cells that act as a waste disposal system by degrading cellular debris. Some other functions of lysosomes include specialized secretion, plasma membrane repair, and control of energy metabolism. Lysosomes contain more than 50 enzymes known as acid hydrolases that are all active in the acidic environment of the lysosomes. In a normal cell, the acid hydrolases are present and active in the lysosomes. However, in patients with eye cell disease, the acid hydrolases are absent from the lysosomes and are unable to catalyze the breakdown of cellular debris. Patients with eye cell disease have a mutation in the GNP tab gene. This gene is responsible for producing the enzyme glycnac phosphotransferase, which is normally found in the Golgi apparatus. Glycnac phosphotransferase recognizes the signal patch on the acid hydrolase in the Golgi apparatus and catalyzes the addition of mannose 6-phosphate to the N-linked oligosaccharide chain. The absence of glycnac phosphotransferase results in the inability of the lysosomal hydrolase to be localized into the lysosome. Reduced amounts of glycnac phosphotransferase results in a clinically similar disease known as pseudo hurler polydystrophy. So that's what eye cell disease is. So a question I have for you guys, does it run in either of your families at all? No. I don't think so. I don't think so. Hmm, that's kind of odd because eye cell is a recessive gene, which means both of you guys must carry the allele. Oh no. What can we do? Well, there is no cure as of now, but what we can do is get her on some nutritional supplements as well as, well as get her through get her to go through some motor and speech therapy to aid in her motor and speech development. But don't fret though, there is research being done. Um, there's one guy named Paul Orchard out of the University of Minnesota He's actually leading a huge study on stem cells and this eye cell disease. So maybe there, there might be something, but what the way research goes. We can only hope, right? We can only hope. Well, thank you all for your time. Thank you no, so much for the invite. No, no problem. No we'll schedule a follow-up with your assistant. Definitely, definitely.